outside the waistband carry options. Let's talk about one. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about an option for outside the waistband carry. Um, I have a couple outside the waistband holsters, but I typically just use them as a range. I usually carry inside. But it's winter and I kind of wanted to look at the option um, since it's easy to wear a cover garment this time of year. Uh, so we're going to talk about an option that I picked up and see the pluses and minuses. We'll do a tabletop review and then we'll talk about it afterwards. But let's cut to the table. The, the holster is from Urban Carry and it's called their Lock Leather Holster. I've seen some pretty good reviews on it. So let's check it out and get over to the table. Alright guys. All right, guys. So let's get the package open and just see what's in it. So just basic packaging, but this is my lock leather holster. So this is my lock leather holster from Urban Carry. And I'll try to show you. You can kind of see it, but hopefully this isn't too bright, but... If you see down in there, that piece of kydex there, that locks into the front of your trigger guard and gives the firearm some retention. And what this holster is for is, is outside the waistband, left-handed for me, just show you, firearm is clear, nothing in the magwell, nothing in the magazine. But this is my PPQ subcompact that I carry. So let's see. Fits tight. So I don't know, I'm not feeling... Okay, so I cut away because when I first got it out of the package, the retention screw was so loose when I put the firearm in the... I thought I thought they sent me the wrong holster, to be honest with you, because there was no lockup, but it was just really loose. So I've tightened it up. So I'll show you how it goes in. You can go in and... So... There is, I'm trying to do this without flagging myself on some camera here, but. So I don't know if you heard that or not, but it did lock in. Um, and it's got, don't, I'm not flagging anybody, the camera's just here, so calm down people. It's not going anywhere. In fact, when you pull it out, it takes some to get used to. Now, I'll go over the positives and negatives with it. Um, I wanna show you. So I think it's going to be comfortable. Uh, let's put it back in. So the sweat guard covers the back, so it's not going to rub against your skin. It looks like good quality leather. Uh, I think it's constructed well. It's got nice size belt loops. Um, so I think that's going to be good. I do notice something that, I don't know, that doesn't thrill me, especially, I mean, this wasn't a crazy expensive holster, but it was about $60. Um, what I don't like, let's take the gun out again. And again, empty, just so you can see. So let's close the slide. Let's reholster here. Weird camera angle. So it's locked in. However, you can see how you can see the back part of the trigger guard? Well, I can get my finger in here and pull the trigger. I don't like that about a holster. Uh, so that being said, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not. I might try it for a week or so, but I would much, much prefer this be covered because it takes some work. You have to work to get into it, but if you're in a hurry and you go in, I got my finger on the trigger now and I can pull that trigger all day long and it's supposed to be holstered. Um, so I guess let's talk about that. All right, guys, I'm going to cut away from the tabletop, and I'll be back. Well, guys, I hope you like that overview. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, I think it's a very well-constructed holster. I think it's great quality leather. It's got nice reinforcement at the mouth where, where the firearm goes in. It locks up well. You're, you're going to have to adjust it because, like I said in the earlier part of the video, it was pretty loose, and I was for a minute there, I wondered if it was the wrong holster, but it locks up tight. It really does. 
and you can, I don't know if you can hear. So locks in good. My one thing I don't like about it so far, without trying out too much, is again that I can get my finger inside this. Now you gotta be a little careful that when when drawing and reholstering, but like literally I gotta shove it in there. But if I want to, I can get my finger on the trigger. I really wish that leather came up a little higher to cover the back of that finger well. That's my biggest complaint about it. And I don't know, ultimately that might be a reason that I don't keep this. Because uh, I only have an X amount of time to return it since I did pay for it out of my pocket. I'm not sponsored by Urban Carry. Um, if I was, they probably wouldn't like the criticism that I just gave of it, to be honest with you. But, you know, I, I started this channel to help you guys, newer to shooting, um, learn what you may or may not like and maybe save yourself some money. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to just... You know, there's a lot of channels out there just act like they like everything. Um, and I don't. I like most things, but... That's, you know, that's just how things are. But as always, if you like, you know, videos from the channel, I hope you hit that like button, share, subscribe, you know, tell your friends about it. If you do want to check me out other way, other places, I have started a Patreon page, uh, and I'm also backing up stuff over to Odyssey. Uh, but hope to see you guys in future videos, and as always, shoot safe.